How to use the new FTC cars rule. A walk through the specifics. Are you tired of feeling like you're at the mercy of unscrupulous car dealers? Want to learn how to take control of your car buying experience and protect your rights? Well, you're in the right place. I'm your host, Kevin Hunter, the homework guy. And right over here is none other than the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. In today's video, we're diving into the powerful FTC cars rule, your ultimate weapon against shady practices in the automotive industry. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on crucial tips for navigating the car buying jungle that's out there. <laughs> in this video, we'll show you the key statements found in the FTC cars rule to use to your advantage. From spotting deceptive advertising to understanding your rights during negotiations, we've got you covered. By the end of this video, you'll be armed with the knowledge and confidence you need to make your next car purchase a win-win for you. The first question is, under what authority does the FTC enforce their CARS rule? What legal jurisdiction do they have to do this? It's the Dodd-Frank Act that gives the FTC authority to make rules about unfair or deceptive dealer practices. Secondly, what does the CARS rule apply to? The rule applies to any covered motor vehicle, new or used, which the rule defines as any vehicle designed for transporting people or property on public streets. In other words, the rule applies to the advertising, the sale, or the leasing of automobiles, including cars, trucks, and SUVs. Bottom line, if you're driving it down the street, it's covered by the CARS rule. The entire outline we are sharing with you is from the FTC CARS boilerplate. It's found at ftc.gov slash CARS rule dealers guide. The header reads, FTC CARS rule protects consumers and benefits honest dealers. The opening paragraph states, Number one, prohibits misrepresentations about material information. The CARS rule makes it illegal for a dealer to make misrepresentations about certain topics that would affect a consumer's buying or leasing choices. Deceptive claims about price, financing, or add-ons are a few examples. The bottom line of this paragraph is to say the advertised price is the price. The dealer does not get to say that the price requires you to finance with them. The dealer does not get to say, we also need to charge you this fee or that fee because we charge it to everyone. The dealer does not get to say, we already put this product on or that product on your car and you have to pay for it. These are all no-goes. Number two, requires dealers to clearly disclose the offering price, the actual price anyone can pay to get the car, excluding only required government charges. Before they visit the dealership and throughout the transaction, consumers have the right to know the drive off the lot price. This is the same as the out the door OTD that we've been talking about. The FTC clearly says it's your right to know this information. If a dealer mentions optional add-ons, the dealer has to tell the consumers that they can say no. And if discussing a monthly payment, the dealer has to tell the consumer the total payment. This would include how much you're paying to finance the car. I want to emphasize the statement, consumers have the right to know the drive off the lot price. Friends, it's no longer an option the dealer can choose to ignore. Having out the door information in your hand is your right. Number three, makes it illegal for dealers to charge consumers for add-ons that don't provide a benefit. Under the car's rule, if the consumer won't benefit from an add-on product or service, the dealer can't charge for it. This includes many commonly known forced-on products, and some of them appear by name in the details of the FTC car's rule outline. Topping the list is window etching and nitrogen-filled tires. The dealer is prohibited from charging you for junk like this. Another way to understand benefit to the consumer is to ask, does the product improve the book value of the vehicle? Fabric protection packages do not. Paint protection packages do not. Mud flaps do not. Pinstriping does not. <laughs> Pretty much everything that is offered to you in the dealer finance office falls under the does not provide a benefit to the consumer category. And number four, requires dealers to get consumers express informed consent before charging them for anything. Ooh, that means no surprise fees or hidden charges. Dealers must get a buyer's clear and informed yes to what they're buying and how much they're being charged. Did you get that? You as the car buyer must be first informed about any charges and then you must consent to being charged for anything the dealer says you must pay for. Literally nobody should be giving a dealer their consent for additional charges. We took additional details straight from the FTC site and as much as possible, we're using their exact language to avoid muddying the waters. We want you to know exactly what the FTC cars rule says about various dealer infractions. It starts with this, in the drive towards combating auto retail scams, that's what CARS stands for, the FTC announced CARS rule is a big win for consumers who lose billions of dollars in wasted time and money 
every year to illegal practices like bait and switch tactics and hidden charges and junk fees. The car's rule is the culmination of a years long effort to ensure truth and transparency in the process of buying and leasing cars and trucks. The bottom line is, unlike the ridiculous allegations NADA is making about the car's rule, years of research and ultimately finding offending dealers tens of millions of dollars with repeat offenders caused the writing of these rules. As part of the rulemaking process for the CARS rule, many consumers reported to the FTC that they had been subjected to deceptive or unfair practices when buying or leasing a car, especially bait and switch tactics and hidden charges. So true. The FTC CARS rule requires dealers to clearly disclose the offering price, the actual price anyone can pay to get the car, excluding only required government charges. Note that this statement did not say a dealer could hide a document fee, a processing fee, a delivery fee, or any other fee the dealer says needs to be charged. Nothing can be added to the price quoted. The rule makes it illegal for dealers to charge consumers for add-ons that don't provide a benefit. As we mentioned earlier, but it bears repeating, benefit to the consumer is easily understood. If the add-on cannot be found on a vehicle bookout sheet, it clearly provides no real benefit. Clearly not. Yep. Equally important is that the rule requires dealers to get customers express informed consent before charging them for anything. They cannot tack on any fees or charges with the explanation that we charge everyone that fee, everyone pays it. Two particular concerns consumers have expressed about the car shopping process are the use of bait and switch tactics and hidden charges. Practices that make it tough for consumers to figure out the actual price they'll have to pay and what they're actually paying for. The CARS rule seeks to remedy that problem by requiring dealers to disclose certain important facts about the deal, including the offering price, clearly and conspicuously. The term clear and conspicuous means reasonably understandable and designed to call attention to the nature and significance of the information presented. The FTC goes on to say in a type, size, font, color, appearance, and location sufficiently noticeable for a consumer to read and comprehend it in a print that contrasts with the background against which it appears. So there can be no fine print when it comes to that. Right. Here are additional facts. The offering price in connection with the price or financing of vehicles, dealers must clearly disclose the offering price defined in the car's rule as the full cash price for which the dealer will sell or finance the vehicle to any consumer. The only costs that can be excluded from the offering price are required government charges, for example, taxes, license, and registration costs, or inspection and certification fees. Notice there is no mention of any kind of dealer fee, including a document fee. It says the offering price can only exclude required government charges, and the examples are taxes, license, and registration costs, or inspection and certification fees. So it'll be different in every state. Yes. The rule specifies three circumstances where the dealer must clearly disclose the offering price. Number one, the fact that add-ons aren't required when making any representation expressly or by implication about an add-on product or service. The dealer must clearly disclose that the add-on isn't required and that the consumer can buy or lease the vehicle without the add-on if that's the case. If the dealer makes the representation in writing, the disclosure must be in writing too. As explained further, in this dealer's guide, the rule includes other important provisions prohibiting dealers from charging consumers for add-ons that don't offer them a benefit. We explained this earlier. In commenting about the car's rule, do you remember that comment period we helped promote here on this channel? Consumers and even some dealers expressed concern that unscrupulous dealers deceptively include add-on products or services in the transaction or charge consumers for surprise items. How many of you have seen those? Yep. These are things not included in the advertised sale price, but surprised upon the buyer at the last possible moment, hoping they wouldn't leave. The rule defines an add-on as any product or service not provided to the consumer or installed by the manufacturer that the dealer directly or indirectly charges the consumer for. Mm -hmm. A particularly harmful practice is when those add-ons don't offer consumers a benefit. A ton of things charged by dealers as add-ons have no real impact on the book value of the vehicle and therefore offer no real benefit. Because the car's rule was made public in December does not mean you won't run into a dealer still trying to do this stuff to you. But there's a very simple way we suggest you should handle this. When confronted with nonsense we've mentioned, you simply say, this is not in compliance with the FTC car's rule announced last December. I'll be happy to file a formal complaint against you and your dealership for a car's rule violation. The truth is that the FTC is just waiting for dealers to thumb their nose at this car's rule and bring the heavy hand of justice down on them. No halfway intelligent dealer wants to become an example, providing even more ammunition as to why the rule is so important. 
Friends, it takes courage on your part to hold dealers accountable for violating the CARS rule. Indeed it does. The good news is that we're here to help you do exactly that. If you want an extra confidence boost with some direct coaching from us, jump on board with the channel membership and send us a link to the cars you're looking for. If you have trouble finding out how to join, shoot me a text at 701-441-3399 and I will text you the join link. For the best direct help that you need, we recommend going straight to the top with the Homework Guy Consults Package at $49.99. It is so much cheaper than anything else you'll find out there, and you get regular text message contact with both Kevin and me. When you sign up, if you text me first at 701-441-3399, I'll make sure you get Kevin's direct contact number as well. Also, any membership level can be canceled or downgraded at any time, so there's no risk and limited expense. And finally, a quick update for our upcoming Car Buyer's Handbook. We are just weeks away from having an all-new website and will publish our book at the same time the new website launches. This strategy will greatly aid in book distribution and sales. I also want to remind our regular viewers about all the free content we've always had on our website, thehomeworkguy.com, so make sure you check it out. For weeks, we've been loading up our new website with helpful car reviews and tons of new resources for you homework lovers. Besides the website, you can connect with us on Facebook and on X, formerly known as Twitter, so give us a visit if you haven't already done that. If you've recently joined the Homework Guy channel as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. And to all of our new channel members, we really love working with you. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth, justice, and transparency in the car business, and always will. We've, We've got to go. go. You can't go.